burning lithium. Attention! Lithium is flammable and all of the lithium compounds from this reaction can cause chemical burns on the skin and eyes. The smoke causes severe irritation of the mucous membranes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of these experiments. Lithium is the hardest of the alkali metals and also has the lowest density. It even has the lowest density of all solid elements in the periodic table at normal conditions. In comparison to the other alkali metals, it reacts quite slowly in the air, but it's the only one that also slowly reacts with nitrogen. Next, a piece of lithium was heated with a Bunsen burner. It burns with a very bright flame, so the exposure time on the camera was decreased. Here two reactions take place. First one is lithium reacting with oxygen to form lithium oxide. But the majority of the air is nitrogen, so lithium nitride is also formed. What's interesting is that the lithium oxide stays on the outside of the residue. Below is a dark solid which has to be lithium nitride. Lithium oxide also reacts with moisture from the air to form lithium hydroxide, but it's not as hygroscopic as the hydroxides of the other alkali metals. What was even more interesting was that small crystals had formed on the bottom of the dark solid. To test if this is in fact lithium nitride, a small piece was tested similar to the test for ammonium ions. On the addition of water, lithium hydroxide and ammonia are formed. The second one causes the pH paper to turn blue. As a comparison, the white solid didn't react to form ammonia, which also shows that the nitride does form in the middle of the reaction. This was burning lithium. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. If you want to see burning sodium or potassium, you can watch my video here, or you can see burning magnesium or my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.